Hello everyone, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So in this March, we will be uh, working with the different different scenarios related to the Salesforce flow. So I, uh, Salesforce flow. So I was getting so many comments to start with the Salesforce flow. So I so I will try to share some of the slow flow scenarios from my end. And if you guys are having some of the scenarios related to the flow, you can also share that too. So from basic to complex, we'll try to cover most of the scenarios. And another thing is, if you guys are looking for the Salesforce training, you can join us. That is, you can check out the details from the Force Galaxy website. And if you have any queries or want to know some of the details related to the training program, you can join us or contact to me directly. Okay. So we'll be so we'll be starting our March batch also related to the Salesforce training program. Okay, so you can check out the same and get back to me for related to any queries. So let's start with today's scenario. <music> Today is the fourth scenario we will going to discuss. So in the last scenarios, if you remember what things we have done, we have created a screen flow where uh, on the account page we have added this screen flow and using this screen flow, we are able to create the related contact to it. Okay, so these are the fields which we are mapping at the back end to the contact field and able to create the related contact. Okay, so in one of the scenario, we have seen how we can add the pick list value, how we can add the lookups. Okay, so the account lookup we have discussed on one of the screen, on one of the video. So today what we will see, okay, so let's first open our, uh, say this flow, the flow which we are working on. So the screen flow, let's open this one and we'll see the changes. So this is the flow on which we are working. Okay, so let me check what fields we have mapped here. So this is the account ID we have passed. So in this account ID, we are mapping the lookup field, which the newly field which we have created in the previous session. Okay, so instead of this, I will going to relate it with the resource which we have created in, uh, in first session. The record id so that it can easily able to get the current page record id and map it with the record of account the new contact which we will going to create okay now let's save this as new version and activate this okay now let's go back to the flow sorry now we'll go back to the account report okay let's refresh this and now let's try to create the account record so for now, we'll be entering some dummy values only. Title, you can add anything. And there is no need to select the account because on the backend, we are mapping directly with the record ID only, okay? So now let's click on save button. So as soon as you click on save button, what will happen? The correlated contact will going to get created here. But at the same time, I want that as soon as you will going to click on next button, I want that the next screen should open. And on that screen, it should give me the uh, ID also of the record which is created. Okay, so that user can able to click on that record and can redirect to the uh, this record page of the newly created content. Okay, so I think we have added this screen flow over the home page also. Yeah, over the home page also, this screen flow is added. Okay, so from here, we will going to uh, uh, use this screen flow. Okay, so what will happen whenever I will going to click on next button, it should give me the redirect link of the record which is created using this screen flow. Okay, let's go back to the uh, screen. Okay, so let's map the lookup only here. Count lookup and the ID. Okay. Uh, next thing is my requirement is as soon as user will going to click on the screen and the record is created after this a screen should open or the screen should be visible to me which will going to show me the record id of the contact record which is created using this flow okay so now this is the one which is already created create record screen we have given on this screen all the fields are added which we are asking user for the details and then after getting the details we are using the create record dml operation to insert the data now once the data is inserted we will going to create another screen okay where we will going to display him the message so there is no need of this footer header 
So we're going to remove this. Okay, we will simply going to display the text. Let me remove the buttons also. Okay, now from here, we're going to select the display text. And let's add the text. Contact record created with record ID is the one which we will going to now add here. Okay. So whatever the record ID will be the of the record which is created using the screen flow will should be visible to me here in the screen on this display text itself and user can able to click on this and can redirect to the contact report page okay so here you can uh, change the font also you can make it into the bullet form also okay so whatever the styling you want to give to your this text you can do using all these options okay so now this is done display uh, we uh, had added the screen where the uh, this message will be displayed now the next thing is how i will going to get the id of the record which is created let me check what we are missing okay so this is done so how we will going to get that id so we will going to get that id from the this create record element okay when you click on this create record so these are the options we have selected how many record you want to create one record okay based on the separate resources we selected the contact and we did the mapping for all the elements which we added to the screen and uh, mapping to them the contact fields okay using this the record is created and the values are uh, saved into the actual contact record from the screen now the next thing is in the below side you will see here is the checkbox which is known as manually assign the variables. When you will going to click on this checkbox, so what will happen? It will give you the option to store the contact ID in variable. So using this variables or the values, whatever the contact record will going to create, if you want to store the ID of that contact, you can store and you can use the variable. So here, what we will do, we will going to create a variable. Okay, this variable will be of text type where we will going to store the contact ID which is created. Now let's select that text. So single value, uh, value it will going to store. So we're not going to mark this checkbox true. Okay, so there is no need to add any default value. Let's click on done. This is done. So this is the variable which will now going to hold the contact ID of this record which is created here. Now this contact ID we will going to or this variable which we have created which is stored the contact ID we will going to use into the display text. Okay. And it should be into the click clickable form. Okay. So that whenever user will going to click on this, it can redirect me easily to the record page of the contact okay so it should be into the clickable form so how you can make it into the click form here is the option link okay when you click on this it will going to ask you what title name it will ask you to give the title and whatever the link you want to give you can give okay so we're going to uh, uh, with the record id this will going to name it at contact only okay contact id now here you need to provide the link so to redirect to the contact page or the record page of the contact, what you need, I need the base URL first of the Salesforce, okay? Using this way, base URL, now we're going to concatenate with the, what? With the record ID, which is stored into the contact variable, which we have created, okay? So this is the variable which we have created, contact ID, okay? We will going to add here. And we're going to name it as contact ID. Now let's save this. So here in this form, it will be visible to me. Let's increase the font of this text. Okay. Now let's done. Let me copy the uh, name of this field again so that it should be correct. Okay. And the same variable we will now going to use here. Okay. Which in where the mapping is done. Let's go to display text. This is link. 
okay and here after providing the domain you will going to add the record id so that on the click it can redirect you to the record page of this contact now let's save this done okay save as a new flow okay activate now let's go back to the home page so this is our home page let's refresh this and we'll see whether the screen is visible to me with the clickable form or not So this is the screen, okay? From here, we're going to create the record. Now let's click on next. So next screen is open. Now let's try to click on this whether it will redirect me to the record which is created using the values which we have entered okay so if you will see this is the same value which we have entered into the name that is a testing data then this is the map account we have selected test for map and here this is title is also testing and this is the email address and on click of this i can easily able to redirect to the record page of the contact which is created how this is possible using the link which we have used here okay and in that link what we have provided we provided the variable which is store the contact id and how you can store this contact id in the create element itself Okay, in this element, a checkbox will be given to you. This is used to store the IDs of the record which you will going to create using this element. Okay. So hope this scenario is clear to you. If you have any doubts, any questions related to anything, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you. And if you guys are looking for the uh, trainings, do check out the website for Galaxy website. Link, link is shared into the description section. You guys can enroll. And if you are having issues related to them, do ask me. Thank you so much.